Let's talk about Trump's statement on Afghanistan, the Afghanistan collapse, and his call for Biden to resign in disgrace. That is a quote from U.S. President Trump. Now, Trump completely laid into Joe Biden. I mean, it was, uh, it was short, a short statement, but it was brutal. Now, here is what Trump said on Sunday about Biden and Afghanistan. What Joe Biden has done with Afghanistan is legendary. It will go down as one of the greatest defeats in American history. Statement by Donald J. Trump, 45th president of the United States. Trump went on further to say in the message that Biden should resign in disgrace for what he has allowed to happen to Afghanistan, along with the tremendous surge in the coup, the border catastrophe, the destruction of energy independence, and our crippled economy. It shouldn't be a big deal because he wasn't, he wasn't elected legitimately in the first place. Of course, Trump is referencing all the election shenanigans back in uh, November 2020. So that is Trump sounding off on Biden and uh, the Afghanistan debacle. Now, I agree. Under normal circumstances in a normal world, Biden would resign. Any president would and should resign. Jim Jordan said America is in crisis, Afghanistan's in chaos. Why is Joe Biden on vacation? Good question. Why is Joe Biden on vacation? Shouldn't he be back at the White House? Nancy Pelosi said the president is to be commended for the clarity of purpose of his statement on Afghanistan and his action. The Taliban must know the world is watching its actions. We are concerned about reports regarding the Taliban's brutal treatment of all Afghans, especially women and girls. What about the Americans stuck at the airport who can't get out? One trillion spent in Afghanistan and you don't have freaking planes ready to get the Americans out? The State Department issued a press release. They issued a sta statement saying that any Americans stuck in Afghanistan that aren't in the green zone will loan them the money to find a plane ticket out. Are you guys serious? Are you guys freaking serious? These are your people. These are your citizens. Get some planes over there. Get them out of there. Casey Dillon tweeted, how dare you call for Biden to be commended as Americans are fleeing for their lives right now while the Kabul airport is under fire. You should be ashamed of yourself. That is her response to Nancy Pelosi's brain dead tweet. The Taliban's brutal treatment of all Afghans, especially women and girls. Yeah, that's what the Taliban's concerned about. The world is watching, according to Pelosi. Yeah, I'm sure they're concerned about that, really. And I'm sure they're going to be concerned about equity and uh, CRT and, and all these things, right? 160 genders, all of these stuff. That's what the Taliban's going to really be concerned about. Yeah, okay. Nancy Pelosi had 20 years to... Uh, to leave the country with something, something of substance, something useful, and you left Afghanistan with nothing. Just a lot of money in everyone's pockets. But anyway, going back to Trump's statement, Trump is right. Under normal circumstances, Biden should resign in a normal world, but he's not. And at this moment, even if Biden were to resign, even if he thought to himself, I need to resign, I just can't do this anymore. Even if he had some advisors telling him it's time to resign. Even if Nancy Pelosi wanted him to resign. Even if Barack Obama wanted Biden to resign at this moment, we have a huge problem. Who the hell is going to run the country? At least who is going to appear to run the country Who's going to be the next puppet, the next actor they put in place of Biden? Because Biden's all right for them. They can hide him away every now and then. When he needs to make a statement, they can pump him up full of drugs. He'll come out for 30 minutes, say some uh, scripted words. He'll screw up a couple of those words. The press will laugh. He, he, ha, ha. They won't ask him any questions. You know, what's the, what's the flavor of the ice cream that you're eating, president? And that'll be that. But... God forbid Kamala gets into uh, office. Now she's got, uh, she's got an ego. She's power hungry. She's not going to want to talk to the press for 30 minutes. She's going to want to assert herself.
right? She's going to want to leave her mark, isn't she? She's going to want to rule. Problem is, is that Kamala's dumb. She can't do it. She's brain dead. Think Biden's brain dead? Kamala is brain dead. <laughs> this is the problem. This is the problem that Pelosi has. It's the problem that Obama has. It's the problem that the Democrats have. Hell, it's the problem that the Republicans have. If Biden was to go, this person that they could easily hide away and, you know, have him pop up every now and then, a weekend at Bernie's type of situation, if he's to go, who do you put in his place? Who else is going to let you hide them away for weeks at a time? Who? Kamala? Uh-uh. They don't have anybody. They thought Kamala might be, uh, might be able to, take, uh, to, t to pick up the slack after they get rid of Biden, or as Biden fades. They thought Kamala could succeed Biden, say after the midterms, or definitely 2024. But after they saw Kamala in action, and after they've tried to train her and prep her and train her and prep her and, uh, and help her out and, and do everything they can, she still can't do it. She still can't do it. And they provide her all the cover that you could possibly ever want I mean, they treat her kid gloves. That's like an, an overstatement. They treat her with kid gloves. Or an understatement. Anyway, they treat her with kid gloves and more. <laughs> they treat her with kid gloves and more. And she still can't do the job. So while I agree with uh, Trump's statement here, Obama should resign, um, Biden should resign, we all have a problem. The entire world has one big freaking problem. Who? Who comes next? If Kamala can't do it, well then, who do you look towards? Nancy Pelosi? She's third in line, isn't she? Nancy Pelosi would be worse than Biden. She'd probably be worse than uh, Kamala. Pelosi doesn't know where she is. She's talking in her tweet about, what is she talking about? How the Taliban must know the world is watching its actions. <laughs> the Taliban must know the world. The Taliban must know the world is watching its actions. And the United States is very concerned, not about American citizens, not about the American people that lost their lives in 20 years of nonsense for nothing, not about all the money that was spent, $1 trillion, not about the Americans that are still stuck in Afghanistan, or, or people from other countries, from other allied nations, UK citizens, Australian citizens. No, 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 Nancy Pelosi is not concerned about that. She's concerned about the treatment of Afghans, especially women and girls, because, you know, equity and stuff, right? Right. They had 20 years to be concerned about the treatment of women and girls in Afghanistan, and they had 20 years to pour one, two, three, four, five trillion dollars and make that country into something that resembles stability. They didn't do it. On May 1st, Trump brokered a deal a face-saving deal for America, a deal where the Taliban promised for intra-Afghan talks, for a succeeding government, for a new government. They promised that in the deal. They promised security guarantees for Americans. The Taliban promised an orderly withdrawal for all Americans living in Afghanistan, for all American equipment. Trump brokered that deal. He brokered a peaceful, orderly, face-saving way out out of Afghanistan. And the Pelosi's and the Biden's and the Obama's and the Democrats and the Rhinos and the Republicans didn't want that because they didn't want to give Trump the win. And other reasons. They kind of enjoy watching this collapse. Believe me, they enjoy watching this collapse. For them, embarrassing the United States is just all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Embarrass the United States, embarrass the American psyche. Because at the end of the day, there are no countries, there are no borders. It's gonna be a one world government for them. But that's a different video. We'll end it there. TheDuran.Locals.com, The Duran Shop, 10% off. Get a Duran t-shirt like this one, or a Duran mug. 10% off when you use the code REALNEWS. Odyssey, BitChute, 
Rumble, Super U, those great video platforms. You will find our videos on those platforms as well. And all those links are down below. Remember, the Duran.locals.com. Please join us there for more content. Take care.